Just get a photo of the one snow. Do not test for a uh... Look at that, the sun's out, we got snow on the hills. Well I've made it, I'm just about to arrive at Charlotte's Pass and as you can see there's heaps of snow left still. So enough for a photo shoot and a bit of a test. You! So, so excited! Mate, this place is amazing this time of year. Wow. Alright. A little ride, here we are. Look at this, got the whole place to ourselves. Holy shit, how awesome is this place? Ah, don't you wish you were here? You could be. So, we've just done a test, rode all around here. We tried the cargo, went well on the sled. Uh, double tracks went well, it's just drying off now. This is deep snow in places, look at this. For, for spring snow, pretty challenging. Probably close to 100 mil. 100 mil of depth from a single foot. We have a look at the tracks. The tracks are a lot less. A lot broader. Now we're going to remove the front track assembly with a quick release. We'll leave that there. We'll go with the skis for now. Ready to go. Do not test for a. Do not test for a. Do not test for a. Test for a. Test for a. So we can now release the front ski assembly. Like so. And grab a snowboard assembly. Also with a quick release. Ready to go. So a single footprint alone is deeper than the ungoverned vendettas tracks. So if we take a look down close, we're looking at about 10 millimeters in comparison to around anything 50 to 60 millimeters. So yes, a huge success for Oversnow test number one. Um, still puffed and uh, out of breath. Uh, need some food. I've been driving all day to get here, but uh, what a day. I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, the vehicle went very well. We just need to put in a, uh, a different kind of battery that's going to deliver more power, but the footprint of the vehicle is amazing. It's definitely broad enough so that it crushes the snow less than a single human foot. So this means a, uh, uh, a lesser impact on foliage underneath or any animals that may be under the snow. Um, like we have a look across the road here. How, go how gorgeous is this place? All to ourselves, but have a look down here. So you can see all the foliage underneath the snow, and that's what we're trying to protect by developing a vehicle that's super lightweight, very compact, and has a low impact on the environment. So it's a huge success, and we're gonna keep going with the engineering and make a few adjustments and come back and do some more. Thanks for watching, ciao. So back in the office. 
And I just want to let you know that the whole purpose of that road trip was to get a photograph of the vendetta on snow. So for me to actually be able to get a, an over snow test in, um, that was quite, quite a bonus. So from this point forward, we're going to increase the speed of the vendetta. We've already started working on our battery packs and our motors, and we're going to get two to three times the speed out of it uh, in comparison to what you've just seen. We hope to do another over snow test before the year is out, and we'll be bringing you footage from that uh, as soon as we can. Um, at the same time, I wanted to let you know that every vendetta from today forward is going to include that front track disengaging coupling to allow you to swap out the front track assembly and fit the ski assembly or the snowboard assembly. So some exciting news there. Um, I'd like to also thank you for um, coming across us at this early point in our evolution. We're going to continue to push ungoverned as fast and hard as we can, and uh, we're very grateful to have you here with us. If you have any comments, feel free to uh, put them down below or shoot us an email, and we'll catch you real soon. Cheers.